Hey guys, Retro John here, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes. So, if you're unfamiliar with this, this is Hasbro's new G.I. Joe uh, 6 inch action figure line based on the G.I. Joe franchise. Uh, Snake Eyes is um, just one of, I believe, uh, five figures. And uh, this is this is amazing. Now, there was a Snake Eyes that was a, an exclusive, I believe, on Hasbro Pulse website. Uh, they have since sold out. Uh, and it came, he came with a lot more weapons. He came with a weapons rack, a really nice packaging. Uh, but, of course, they were going to release one of the favorite characters in its regular packaging. And this is just amazing. Uh, just looking at it in the box right now. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, packaging real quick before we take a look at the figure inside. <laughs> so you'll notice um, he comes in like a Marvel Legend type of box. Uh, same with the Power Rangers. Uh, it's not in a blister bubble. It doesn't have that Starburst artwork, which would have been really cool to see on this. However, we do have some awesome artwork here on this side depicting uh, Snake Eyes. Let's go ahead and take a look, a little closer look at that. And that is just fantastic. I absolutely love the way that looks. Uh, of course, we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series logo at the bottom, along with the name of the character and the Hasbro logo in the uh, bottom right corner. Uh, we also have a look at the figure inside. You can see all of the accessories that he comes with. I'm really excited to open this up uh, and see if, uh, if, if any of these uh, manage to like fit on him somewhere so he can carry all his weapons. That would be cool. Uh, we'll turn it over here to the top. You'll see that Snake Eyes is number two in this series. We also have the uh, G.I. Joe Star right here. I believe the, uh, the Cobra figures like Destro and Cobra Commander will have the Cobra insignia here. Uh, turn it over to the side. We have more of that incredible artwork uh, that just kind of carries over from the front. Go over to the other side and we have what look like different factions. So this is uh, awesome, I believe. Let's see here. Um, no, I'm not exactly sure what all these are. <laughs> I saw this and I immediately thought Dreadnought. Uh, these might be his rankings, I'm not exactly sure. So then we turn it over to the back. And on the back we have this amazing artwork. I absolutely love this. And these are going to be the figures in this first wave. I believe this is going to be like a two-part wave one. Um, so we uh, have Snake Eyes, Scarlet, Duke, and Roadblock. Uh, those were the first four, and now we ended up getting Destro. I actually have him on the way. Uh, as of this filming, he should be here Monday. They just announced Gung Ho. Uh, that there is a Red Ninja. Uh, still no major announcement for the Baroness yet, but I'm sure she's coming. And I'm really looking forward to this guy right here, Cobra Commander. Uh, and of course, the Alley Vipers. The Alley Vipers figure, uh, the, the blue and orange version were definitely one of my favorite figures when they came out and it would be incredible if we actually got some of these vehicles to go along with this lineup especially some of the cobra vehicles because those let's face it those were some of the coolest ones you got trouble bubbles right there trouble bubbles those are awesome so all right let's go ahead and open him up and take a look at everything that he comes with inside Okay, guys, so here he is, Snake Eyes. Uh, definitely a huge fan favorite, uh, so he had to be one of the first figures they bring out, of course. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at Snake Eyes. Let's go ahead and go over all the articulation first. Uh, so we have here, he looks like his head is on a ball joint, so you can really move it around like so. Uh, his arms uh, move out about that far. I mean, you can get some pretty good range or articulation out of this guy. Uh, his um, arm will go all the way around. Now, that's something I like is his uh, elbows are actually double jointed, covered up by the elbow here, which is fantastic. He has a uh, swivel at the bicep. Uh, he does have an ab crunch. Uh, I'm going to give you a forewarning. Mine was a little stuck at first, so just be careful. Uh, he also has waist twist and swivel, it looks like. So I believe it's on a ball joint. Uh, yeah, so, and unfortunately, that kind of gives him a little of a bobble. 
you can see that gives him a little bit of a bobble and I did have issues standing him up because of that um, so his legs will go out this far his legs are also um, twisting at the thigh here and we again we have double knee joints which is fantastic and uh, we also have swivel here at the cuff the boot cut we have his uh, ankles that go up and down and they do swivel slightly like there you go now you can really see that they swivel so <laughs> all in all really really fantastic articulation on this guy uh, now we can go ahead and go over all the details from head to toe uh, this guy is detailed too for being basically a solid black figure uh, he's got some good detailing and some paint apps going on. So let's take a look. So you'll notice first off here, uh, if I can get it to focus, uh, he has a little red dot right here just above his visor. And I'm not sure why they did that, but it, you can tell it's part of the paint. Uh, it's kind of a glossy uh, black for his visor and for the sides painted here. So we definitely have some different... Uh, colored uh, black mixed going on here. Uh, we have this grenade belt here, which is uh, a separate piece. You can see um, it is, as far as I can see, not removable. It is glued in place, but it isn't going anywhere. Uh, I'm not sure if you could probably take that off. You probably take the, you can't take it off, so it is removable. You just can't take it off where they glued it. Uh, so that's kind of neat. Let me place that right back. Uh, actually, we're going to go ahead and keep that off so we can look at some of the details underneath. Um, we also have some, uh, his, uh, I can never pronounce an A, I know it starts with an A, but he's got his little insignia here. Uh, we got some nice silver here for some metal buttons or bands. We definitely have some silver for the buckles here, the little uh, rivets. Uh, we do have another separate piece. It's a belt. Um, that is not removable. It is around his waist. So, uh, But we got some really nice detailing going on here. We have, again, his uh, logo of his clan with the uh, silver buckles here. And it is supposed to be two different belts. However, they are molded together. And so, um, so, But it is just one piece. Then underneath we have his, well, his where he snaps his pants. <laughs> uh, down this leg, we do have these holsters, and these are going to uh, come into play for some of his accessories. And I like that they do have these little buckles here. Right around, they, just, they do go all the way around. And they are also a separate piece. I was able to move this a bit. Um, so I don't know if you, I guess if you want to take these off, you'd probably be able to just slide them down, slide them down the leg. Uh, the text, the text, um, the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the details on the pants here, you can see, are just incredible. I love the sculpt on this guy. He's really, really, really well done. Uh, the knee pads here are fantastic, almost like a little shinier black. And the boots, of course, are, 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 are shinier black here for the shin guards. So... All in all, this is a fantastic figure. Um, I cannot, cannot lie. I actually love this figure. This is the first of the G.I. Joe classified figures that I've ordered. Um, I, like I said, as of this filming, I have Destro on his way. He should be here Monday. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get um, Roadblock, Duke, and Scarlet. I kind of just wanted to get the figures that I, you know, want, that I like. But after this, I don't know how I could not get them. Because if they're anything like this... So, <clears throat> now, as I mentioned, he comes with accessories. Boy, oh boy, does he come with accessories. Um, so let's go ahead and pull some of these out. Um, first off, he does come with a uh, very, very unique gun. Now, one thing I liked about the original J.I. Joe's is they actually told you what the weapons were most of the time, especially in the new line. Uh, and you'll see that he has this little peg here. And if you turn the figure around... Just like the original G.I. Joe's, he does have a peg hole in the back, along with a peg hole here in his belt so you can line it up and plug in your gun. So if you wanted to do so, you can. Maybe. 
I can find the hole. I always have that problem. Um, this is in the kid show, folks. There we go. So you can plug it into his back if you so choose to do so. But there's another reason, but we'll get to this in a moment. We have another gun here. So, and this, I guess if you really wanted to, you can plug it in here to this gun. I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can do that. That is an option that you have. Uh, or, if you want, you can take this gun, and you'll notice earlier I showed you some holsters on his legs. He does have a gun holster. So you can just place this right in there, and he has a spot for his holster. But what's this? He has something else that can go there. What could it be? This little cylinder thingy. What is this little cylinder thingy? Well, he is a, oops, he is a ninja after all. And he wants to be quiet, so he needs a silencer. Yeah, a silencer. So you could take the silencer and actually connect it. There's a little hole here. And then the barrel of the gun. So you just have to take it and literally just gently twist, twist it on. And there you go. And he can hold that in either hand. Both hands have trigger fingers, which is awesome. So you just put that right in his hand like so. Put his finger right in the hole there, and now he is ready to silence a Cobra Viper. That is really cool. And like I said, if you don't want to have him hold on to that, he does have a holster for his gun and a holster right next, right in front of that. There we go. For the silencer. That is really cool. Okay, so another weapon he comes with is this little um, knife. And it's a really cool knife. And you'll notice that all these weapons, they're, um, they're not really painted detailed. They're just a kind of a solid color. So, and again, this could go in either of his hands. Um, so we can just plop this right in his hand like so. And now he's ready to go gut a Cobra Viper. But of course, if you don't want him holding on to this, he does have another sheath right here for his knife. Now this is where I come into another issue I, with this figure. And I've heard that this is a problem around the board. The knife will go into the sheath about that far. That's as far as I'm getting that sheath in there. Um, I could try to force a little bit, but it's not going. Um, it's like maybe something around here just wasn't cut out or something in the thing. So that's as far as it's going to go, but it doesn't look like it's going to fall out if I sh if the figure's moved. So, but I mean, it's still kind of a bummer that the knife's not going in there all the way. <coughs> so, he wouldn't be Snake Eyes without his sword. And his sword is just awesome. It's uh, very cool. I love the, the handle on this thing. It's fantastic. It is a little pliable. So, and of course, he has a sheath for his sword. And again, I want to point out the texture and the detailing on this. Because this is just amazing. I love this. It's almost like a, like a, like a snake skin type of deal like he uh, got an alligator or something there is his uh, clan's logo again it's also on the back so we did get some we do get some painting on a few of these accessories I'll show you the next one in just a moment and of course the sword will go in the sheath like so with no problem and that will lead us to his next accessory a backpack uh, now you see that it is just a plain black pack with a few silver uh, um, paint jobs here but this is really cool I mean I mean you can't open it or anything notice the hole notice the peg notice some more of the detailing on this thing some more painted buckles now we can take our gun or I'm sorry our knife our sword and we can plug it in right here in the back 
of the pack. Or we could do that with the gun. And then I showed you the two peg holes here. So we just line these up. Plug that into his back. Has his backpack on. You can take this gun, put it in his hand like so. I said like so. There we go. And now Snake Eyes is ready to do battle with Cobra Commander. Or even, uh, you know, Destro. <laughs> or Storm Shadow. And I love the fact that he can carry all his accessories on him. Um, and you don't have to uh, get a little baggie or a Ziploc and keep them in. You can just keep them on the figure. So, um, so all in all, this figure. Um, I really, I'm really happy with the figure. I really am. I think this, this is a fantastic looking figure. I love all the art articulation. Uh, all the possibilities with this guy. However, I do have my issues. First off, the bobbling. The bobbling is a major issue for me, uh, especially when he's such uh, so it makes it so hard for him to um, stand up. As you can see, I'm already having issues standing him up. So I don't know what it's going to do for posing ability. Uh, but if you can get him in a pose, there's plenty of options and plenty of accessories. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> plenty of accessories to do that. Um, I do wish the knife would go in further in here. As you can see, it's hitting his belt. Uh, it bends any time he moves this way. So getting that in the holster is something I wish we can fully, as I wish, I wish that's something we could do. Um, other than that, I think the only, my only other issue is, where's Timber? He should have came with Timber, the wolf. That would have been an amazing extra accessory. And uh, even make it even more worth uh, having. Of course, that probably would have brought the price tag up a little bit. Speaking of the price tag, these are your standard six inch uh, price of $20 a figure. That's right, if you want a new G.I. Joe classified series figure, it's going to cost you 20 bucks. Um, as of right now, the only figures uh, that are you're able to get are Snake Eyes, uh, Scarlet, Roadblock, Duke, and Destro. Uh, Cobra Commander is supposed to be available very soon. I believe today, as of this video, is supposed to be coming out for pre order. I can't wait. Cobra Commander is my favorite Joe character. And um, other characters that have just been uh, announced has been uh, Gung Ho, Red Ninja. Um, well, Cobra Commander was announced, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm not, I think that might, might be it. Uh, yeah, Gung Ho, Cobra Commander, and Red Ninja. Uh, really hoping for Baroness. And um, Alley Viper, that would be really cool. Zartan, I would love to see Voltar. Um, yeah, I like some of the I love some of the obscure characters. <laughs> uh, Shipwreck would be awesome with a Polly on his shoulder. So, but anyway, uh, Snake Eyes. This is a great figure. Um, if, you, if they could fix some of these issues, uh, these would be um, these would be great. I mean, like I said, these are highly detailed. Uh, really nicely done figures. Um, and then there's supposed to be a new uh, G.I. Joe Retro 3 and 3 quarter inch figure line coming out soon as well. That's going to be awesome. I can't wait for those. I'm a huge fan of the original uh, smaller figures. But these are just, these 6 inch ones are just amazing too. Uh, so these are supposed to be available in, I don't know if these are Walmart exclusives or not. I wouldn't be a bit surprised at this point, but... Um, these are supposed to be, I've seen uh, stores in uh, Canada, uh, I've seen pictures of people posting them in Canada. These are available in Walmart stores, at least there now, uh, which means we should be getting them any, any time now. So this is, uh, I got mine off of um, Entertainment Earth for $20, same with my Destro, I pre-ordered these two, and uh, I believe some of them are still even available on Hasbro Pulse for the same price. Plus, they're going to be available in retail stores, so you should be able to get these figures with no problem. Uh, yeah. So, all right. So, Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe, uh, classified series. Highly recommend. These is, this is incredible. I absolutely love these. Um, so, yeah, until next time, remember, knowing 
is half the battle. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, give me a like, and let me know in the comments below what you think of Snake Eyes. Yo, Joe.